Hi everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's been oh, quite a number of days that we've been in this pandemic and uh, locked in our houses and trying to find things to do. Um, I guess I find quite a bit to do because I started doing some cleaning and I have like spring cleaning kind of warm myself up so I had to take a couple days so I could rest. So I hope you guys are all feeling okay and that you know you're doing um, alright through this situation that the stress hasn't gotten to you. I think that the biggest stress right now is the unemployment because you know uh, trying to get a check I, and then no one answers the phone so you have to really wonder I guess they're just overwhelmed with all this. Uh, it's too bad we weren't prepared a little bit more for such a, a such a catastrophic event. Um, all the people that are dying from these th this virus and it just scares me because I certainly don't want to get it. And um, as I told you before, with my thyroid, I kind of like have that Hashimoto th Hashimoto thyroid, which is considered like a um, autoimmune disease. So I have to be careful. Uh, things hit me a little harder and I might not be able to recover because I am over the 65 year bracket. So um, with that being said, uh, we're going to work on our elephant again and uh, maybe we can get this pretty close to complete, at least I hope for this day four um, activity. Uh, right now I'm kneeling here so I can be into the actual... Um, screen of this uh, painting and um, hopefully we get this done. I'd like to see it done. I think that there's a lot of detail now left in the elephant and that will take a little bit more time but we'll we'll get through it. So uh, hopefully you know you leave me a comment. Uh, I'd like to see that. Um, it helps me out in my rankings and uh, if you give me a thumbs up that also helps too. Um, I would appreciate it very much if you did that. So without further ado, let's get started on our day four. All right. So I'm going to start out here with a... Um, start out here with a number 12 uh, bright and I am going to get into some of these areas well I'd like to get this a little bit more uh, of this cleaned up and right around here in his trunk some of this should be a little bit lighter so I'm going into my white to do this I'm going to wet my brush a little bit too. Just kind of glaze it over a little here. This will come down in here. It's kind of meeting up with that. There is a little bit of a light shade too that comes through here. So I'm going to get that in there too. And through here. Might be a little too light. I'm going to have to darken that up a bit. Okay. Got my brush. Now, <clears throat> this gets a little difficult at times because we really want to get a nice coating here with this. Uh, so I might just get out of the actual way that the picture is 
take and, and kind of just do my own little thing here because uh, I just want that smoother hooking. Uh, we took so much time the last time, so, you know, I'm trying to not, like, spend a whole bunch of time on this, this time. Because I'd like to start working on the elephant itself. Oh, I've got one of them hairs in there. I think that was for my, uh, there we go. If you get hairs, you just take them out, you know. Let's get a little brown. This is the raw, raw, um, raw, um, burnt umber, burnt umber. Kind of get it around here a little bit and just kind of smooth it out a bit. And if you find, you know, not enough room, just kind of turn the canvas a little bit. comes my little Sally girl. I just love hearing her little footsteps. Need a little bit more of this. Let me get that in there. Work it out. There's like a lot of um, reworking you know, you just want to make it look decent. So, and that's what I'm doing. Just kind of reworking some of this. Using my white to go over that area there. Kind of lightening it up, but yet letting that green stuff kind of show through. That's what you want. And then, of course, here, we want that to show also. Just work it out. Work it out. Work it up in there. On this down a little but yet you want it to remain a little light in here because you don't want it to conflict with the the uh, elephant itself all right so now I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to go into a um, number 14 bright. See that? All right, so we're going to start working on some of these areas that need to be dark. And I'm just going into my burnt umber. And I'm going to mix it with my oxide, a red oxide. Okay, just giving up that extra boost of warmth so that I can get around here with the ear. And um, because his ear is not actually uh, in, in the, um, all of it isn't in the actual painting here. I cut some of it off. We're going to get some of that darker color. Now, um, what I, I'm doing is wiping off my brush. I'm not actually uh, washing it in anything. This is kind of lighter up and through here. Just kind of 
comes into like a very light area uh, of the oxide. I'm just going to use a light um, area in here like the oxide. working up into that. Bring some of it in here. Let's work it in. Get this lighter area right, right above the ripple, right above it. Okay, I'm gonna go over it with a little dark now. Maybe just a little white mixture of that dark, the burnt sienna. And a little bit of the red oxide together. We'll just kind of go with this. It's going to take some time to work these little pieces in. I bought my brush. Touch of white in here just to kind of make it look like it's a lighter on top, and it starts to work its way through. Now you see that looks more like a let me just turn this light down a bit. because I'm getting a glare and I don't want the glare. I want to be able to see what I'm doing here. this way and then it goes up. Just putting this lighter shade in be working over that. Very, very light in through here. Got one streak right here. So I want to get that kind of in there. Wiped off my brush. Kind of 
keeping that that we know it's lighter. And then a little bit of this whitish coming through here. Blending it very lightly blending it okay so underneath the dark you have to have a little something white so I am putting this in same here a little bit of white blending that out I'm not sure what's binking binking Okay. okay, so we're getting here like with all this now in through here there's quite a bit of uh, wrinklies so uh, we're going to do a few of those um, I got a message here I want to check. Um, This is uh, going to be a little lighter, so we're going to get some white and we're going to mix it into that oxide. And then, okay, so it's going to be hard to put a lot of these in, but we'll just put a few and then it kind of like helps to make it look like we did a lot. You don't have to go crazy, just put a few in and... It it, uh, it works. It works. So. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe that off. And just underneath here. Oh, we can put the dark the actual brown. With a mixture of a little bit of that oxide to darken it up. Our burnt umber with oxide, red oxide. I have to go a little darker here. Okay. 
That's my daughter. See, look at how that just kind of gives it that extra, you can see it looks like little, um, yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so let's get um, another part of the lighter. I'm going to mix a little bit more white in there to my oxide, red oxide. And I kind of come up with this here. Oh, where is it at? There we go. See? Alright, so there was, there's some that goes this way. Like here. It kinda, okay, this one comes over it like that. You have that there. And then there's a couple that just kind of go this way. actually kind of go into the ripples of the ear so I'm going to just put these in and they um this is pretty cool I, I love doing stuff like this because it really starts to make it sparkle okay and his ears on the edges here are kind of warmish uh, a little bit of uh, the burnt sienna goes on this So, um, let's just get some of this in here, just a little bit, kind of where it's, and you have some of these little lines going up like this. Um, This underneath here is real warm, so this um, this is his actual ear. It comes up. Just see this here. Comes around here, and oh, it's nice and right where this here is, right here. There's that dark spot in there. Um, and it comes up here like that. His ears starting to really shape up now and you're you know you're starting to see some of that under under painting coming through too which uh, is really helpful uh, it certainly helps to make this look really cool and then right in here there's like these little pieces of that color there just kind of goes up into that ear 
with uh, some of the lighter highlights here. And then it gets really dark in through here. So let me wipe my brush. As you notice, I'm not washing my brush in between. I'm just kind of using the brush just as is. I kind of like it that way. Okay. And right, right on that piece right there, it's light on the edge. So we're going to make that light right there. Pull it up here. It's kind of giving it something. Okay. Right like that. Um, there's a little bit of dark right in here, so we want to get that dark. Wipe my brush again. I'm just using the tip of my brush, just the edge of my brush, my the pointed part there. Just kind of getting that in there. And uh Going back to my oxide and just kind of getting that really tight there. And then in between is all this darker shade. So going back to just doing the tip of my brush and just kind of giving that a little bit of pizzazz. of his little skin and then with some of that lighter brownish shade I'm gonna just kind of highlight it a little bit a little bit lighter I'm just mixing some white into my burnt umber I could probably use a smaller brush, which probably would work much better here, but um, I'm just keeping it, okay, so right underneath that, right there, it's kind of dark, but then on top of that, it gets lighter, so... We need a little bit of our oxide mixed with some white. We're going to highlight this. Getting it to a nice chiseled edge and just kind of bring this down and it rounds here. It goes, it kind of rounds itself out. Okay. And then we're just going straight into the oxide. Kind of just going up around here. Right into the oxide, red oxide. Just kind of highlighting that a little bit. And right here is the other part of the ear, so to come around there. All right, so we're doing okie doke. Let me just put my brush in the water there. I'm going to get a smaller, smaller, more detailed kind of 
on a brush. I'm just going to use this one. It's a little um, number 10 soft grip. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the size. These are like those soft grip brushes that really um, have no... It just kind of just gets into those little crevices that I want to get into. So, kind of smooth it out a little bit. Here. Okay. I'm rinse that out a little because I need to get the white eye just uh, went into the, like here, I want to clean that up a bit in here. Oh. Make that darker. That's the other side of his ear. So, just want to clean it up. cleaned up. See, you always put the dark by the light and it really, it looks kind of like it is a little ripple. Kind of helps to show that off a bit. Okay, going back in my dark. So you would do the same kind of thing here that I'm doing on people's clothing. You know, if you want to make little uh, folds in clothing, um, perhaps you're doing a um, curtain or a drape, same thing. Same kind of thing. Okay, so now we got to get some of these closer here. over this again because um sorry if I'm not talking so much I'm kind of concentrating on what I'm doing here because this is a little bit more of a you have to pay attention to what you're doing so 
you want it to turn out right, you know. I think I need a little water in my uh, mixture here. Yeah, that's better. So, kind of blends better here. Put some more of these uh, lines. Okay, let's see here. So, kind of have some here. Um, there's right in here where this fold is here. There we go. Uh, also, there's one here, kind of lighter. And then we've got some of them that are going in here. So let's get some light. Because as it goes into this area, it gets light again. It gets that nice light area. So we want to get some of that in there. Wiping it off. Going into my straight burnt umber. Kind of mixing it with that. is uh, turning out pretty good. Now like I said, uh, this isn't, I mean all of his ear, it's not all of it, but because uh, it, it would be coming over here also. Now notice I'm not holding it, my brush up here. I'm holding it back here. I want to have it spontaneous. I don't want to be drawing it. I want to be painting it. Now sometimes, you know, you get a little closer. That's if you're trying to draw something. But this here, I'm trying to just get some, um, some good stuff going on here. You know, you just want to... Now here it's real dark. That's where the uh, shadow is on the... Elephant, so we want to put that in there. We're just going to blend that on down a little bit. And right here, I want to just make sure that's nice and tight so we know that that's shadows shadowing. Lighten it up a bit. Same effect as we're doing here with the ripples. 
Okay. Now, if you have trouble with this part, part please uh, send me an email. Uh, my email is on the bottom uh, of the information section. You'll see everything that you need at the beginning of the video, paints and so forth. And um, okay, we're just gonna kind of lighten this up here. And it almost has some white little things going on in here, too. So we'll, we'll kind of do that, one of them anyways. And and I want to get some of my lighter brown in here, too. Right underneath that, we're going to get a little bit of this dark brown, kind of giving it a little bit more. What it needs there. This is your picture painting, so uh, you can do it any which way you want. You don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it if you don't like this. Um, okay. Kind of looks good there. Just want to get that a little darker again. So it's dark there. Grab a little bit of the lighter brown here. Oh, I should Okay. Gonna fix that. Okay, so we got his ear pretty good there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a dry brush. And I'm mixing, and this here is a um, number 12 filbert. And I am going to go into my burnt sienna mix it up with a tad of white and get 
get a nice color here with that. Oh. Just take some of the paint off. And I'm just going to go over this here very, very lightly. Just kind of rubbing it in. Just rubbing it in here. Now I'm going to add a little bit more white to it. Rub it off on my towel. I'm going to go in here. This here was lighter, so. But I want that red to show through that oxide red because his he he has that little bit of. It's probably the way the sun might be shining on him, and I just want to get that kind of. where it's not so blatantly red. Where it blends a little bit better. And I'm just kind of going in a circle, but it's dry, my brush. I'm just kind of going over that a little bit. And I'll come down here and do the same. Just a little. Just kind of making it look more skin-like. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the dark and do the same thing with my filbert. I'm just getting it a little darker up in here. Okay, let me look at this from back here. Yeah, that's good. All right. So... Let's go on to some of these um, darker-ish spots. Now let me see. Let me see. Now in through here, he's got a lot of dark happening. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my liner brush. And this is a number one script. Uh, it's a little fat feathered up, but once I get this ink like it'll be okay. So I just put some water in there. I'm just twisting it into the Grumbrocker burnt umber. Okay, so I got a nice little point on there. If you can see that. Nice little point. And in through here, I am going to just draw some lines and things because there's so many that's going on here. And I'm going to have to uh, they come all the way from the eye. And I just want to have some sort of a reference here that I that these are here. and everything. So when I put the uh, paint in, I kind of know that I have that in there. And I'm holding my brush all the way back here, if you notice. And some of those lines are in through here also. He's got lots of uh, wrinkles 
Lots and lots of wrinkles. He's got a lot of them in his trunk also. I think I need to make that a little bit more like that. Now whether I put all these in here or not, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, that's a lot. So we'll see how it all works out. But I just want these indications here so that I know that I have to do this. Get those little pieces in there. Like I say, you don't have to put all these details in. Just showing a little bit that they that they are there. That they are there. Okay. I think it's some more paper towels here. And I'm going to go into my white, and I'm going to kind of dry brush this in. Um, there is just a white streak that goes in here, like here, in this elephant. I don't, I don't want to miss that. here also and I think that's just like um, coming in from the way the Sun is shining on the elephant and I'm going back to my filberts and I am going to a little bit more brown to that light mixture that I made. So, and I'm going to kind of go over this a little bit. I don't want. I don't want to erase all this, but it is lighter in here, and I just want to kind of get some of that in there. Destroying it. But keeping the dark, and I might have to go in there again, and I can do that. Um, Now we all know that like mostly um, these animals are gray, but in this shot it kind of captured more of the brownish shades of the elephant. So
That's what we're trying to do. Capture more of the brownish shades. crazy Just going back over some of these, just kind of getting them back into the Should look hopefully. All right. Very good. Same here. Uh, we want that tone in there, but oh, no, 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 no. We want that redness to sh shine through, but we don't want it so blatant, like that he looks like he has red skin. Okay, and I think we have that pretty good now. Um, you know, you could always keep going, but this is more of a difficult painting, so I would say that someone that's a little bit more advanced doing this, uh, it's just that it's it's hard. It's a hard painting, so yeah, you want to make sure that. This is real dark through here. Okay. 
Same with up in here. This is very dark. Very dark in here. Then it starts to lighten up with this lighter reddish brownish color. Okay, so right in through these areas, it's kind of light. So right in here, it's very light. Probably that. And then this area here is going upward. This is his trunk going into his mouth here. Okay. See this kind of like just going in between these little lines here. shade leaving some of that greenish shade showing too get that highlight in there so I know I have that there and that it wraps around here like it wraps around his tusk so and then it gets darker as we go over this away it's darker of course, you know, like some of those little lines are disappearing, but we can always put those back in. I just wanted to make sure I had some in there. Okay, so this piece has a lot of light to it. around 
his little eye here. But underneath here, this is like going this way. So we want to make sure that we're going the same way when we paint these things. over and then this comes up here so it's a little darker this this comes like that it comes like in a hook it kind of hooks here hooks and then that's all dark. It's extremely dark in through here. And then hooks. So it can make their hook come down a little further here. Like that. Okay. Okay, so I've been looking at this and um, I still want to get a little bit more gray in here. I'm not real happy with the way this is looking here. Uh, it's too brown, but my picture, unfortunately, kind of shows that if you look at this. It's kind of like a grayish brown, maybe. And it could be because the way it, the pose is from the way the camera took it. So I am going to do something here. I'm just going to mix a little bit of white with some Payne's Gray and kind of just dry brush over that and see if that helps. I've been looking at this and looking at this and thinking about it um, just to see how and what I should do. I'm going to put a little bit more light on this here, see if this helps. All right, let's see how that works. Oops, this is going to be hard to open. Okay, there we go. So uh, I'm just using Grumblocker Payne's Gray. You can use whatever Payne's Gray you might have, if you have Payne's Gray at all. I'm um, just going to put a little bit out on my palette. See if it helps. If not, then I'll have to re redo this, but... I'm just not real happy with that way it looks. So, get a little white. Mix up that Payne's Gray. portion of um, my paintbrush here. I'm just going to go back and forth to remove some of that on my palette here. I don't know if that will help. But uh, I've got this just looking like that. We'll see how this does. I'm not sure. By the way, I can also share some ideas on how to Sorry. keep your space clean. Try saying. Give me tips for cleaning. It might be too light. Alexa, stop. I don't want that to be a dry brush, maybe a little darker. Okay, I'm just gonna 
wipe some of that off. I'll take my filbert and just use that. Get some of that paint off my brush here. Just kind of. Just not sure if this is going to help it or not. Probably have to do this again. And I apologize. You can also move ahead if you'd like. Uh, it's up to you um, in the video. But I, I can just uh, do this. Uh, on my own here without you watching and then we can bring it back on so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to turn off the recording and just work at this for a little bit okay so we're back and uh, as you can see I um, want to make sure we're in frame here uh, I did a wash on top I made this a little less uh, brown and I'm going to start working on this areas too just to make those uh, less brown as well so I'm going to start underneath here and I'm just using Payne's Gray Payne's Gray and I'm using a filbert I have a number eight filbert that is a Utrecht brand <clears throat> Just kind of getting that built up a bit. And it's kind of dark here, but then it gets a little lighter as we go in into the, um, the, there's a tooth that comes out, but this here is a little bit lighter. And this is just all well, it's his tusk that comes out, not his tooth. So I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so how's everybody holding up with this uh, quarantine? I hope you guys are doing all right. It's been quite trying. I can understand how you're feeling. It's been quite a challenge for me too. But I'll tell you what. I, <laughs> I think because I am uh, at home. Oh, that's a little too light, isn't it? Um, I'm enjoying it, you know, because I did go back to work uh, just to get some extra money because it's just been really tough going here, I'll tell you. Uh, and I always say that when you go on um, retirement, it's just not the same as it used to be. So it's it gets hard. It's very difficult. And... Um, So, this is kind of dark in through here as well, and uh, I'm going to just make that a little dark, and then it lightens up again, so I'm just going to get this layer here, and I might even get a little lighter than that, because this part here is in the sun, kind of. Now he's got tons of little wrinkles in through here, so I'm going to just try to get some wrinkly things going. Um, this might be in the wrong spot, actually. I think it should come up here like that and then come down. And then he's got a few little crinkly things going on here. This is like wrinkled here. Um, this is real dark in through here. Uh, then it gets light up in there, so let's just get some light. Yeah, I kind of like it with the gray better. Um, you know, maybe it is a brown. I mean, just the way the photograph was taken, it could be something that um, maybe the camera just captured that it looks that way. So, you know, we always have to try to just figure something out. Uh, I just didn't like it brown. I just didn't 
like if my mind was telling me and maybe that's the reason too you know like your mind starts to tell you different things and before you know it you're, you just need to just try to follow your heart sometimes but sometimes that could be also detrimental when you're painting because you're not capturing it the way it was and that's a little bit of a concern for me, but uh, we'll figure it out and yeah, we'll get it. I'm still using the Payne's Gray. Uh, this is very light in through here. We've got some little lines and I'm going to get those back in there. Um, very light in through here. Above his eyes, kind of light. Right in through there, it's light. Even along this part right here, it's light. We can always do a glaze. I'm going to have a little depth in here. But it is lighter than down in here because it's more in the shadow. This is darker through here. Well, he's starting to come alive. He's starting to show me that he is definitely our friend, our little friend, the elephant. Now down through here, it's a little darker, so I'm going to make some more darker gray. Actually, I'm going to put some more of my Payne's Gray out. Payne's Gray is a great shade. I love this stuff. And a lot of artists do. I have been watching some people on YouTube, and they seem to enjoy using the um, Payne's Gray. Just kind of following the skin pattern here. Uh, it's kind of crossed. Man, it might be even a little darker than that. Just kind of getting some of that dark in there. Everywhere you see a light, you want a little dark just to kind of give it a show some of his wrinkles here. I'm going to wipe this off. Get to my dark again. Get this like, oops. Now let's see here. Get this in shade here. It's being shaded by his ears. nice wrinkly look. This ear here, I'm just going to kind of get it a little darker with some of this Payne's Gray. Just kind of bringing it down and through there. Okay, so it's a little lighter. Let's see here. A little lighter through here. And right along this little edge here, I'm going to get my smaller brush here. Because this edge right here is light. There's just like a light edge there. If I can get that to be nice and chiseled here, I don't know. These brushes are kind of old now. All right, that's a little light, but we'll go over it. 
comes like right here, okay? And then this comes down here. Well, doesn't it? Do? Comes right here, I believe. Okay. So we'll get that now. Still going to use my filbert. Okay, right in through here, it's kind of light again. It goes lighter. I'm going to get some light grays in there. Not too light, though. I don't want it too light. Right in through here, it's kind of light here. off. There. Okay. Very dark in through here. I just want to kind of some of the lighter. It's dark. So we gotta get that dark. And then some light lines go over it. That's the tooth. Just definitely want this to be dark. lighter on this side for sure. So I'm just taking it and pulling it in and it looks like I have lines for him. Notice that? It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? You just got to pull it in. Pull it in. And the same with this. Uh, we want a little bit of a darker gray. Not quite as dark as we have it here, but and this might take a few little things to do here. See, I like that warmth coming through, though. That looks really cool. This is going to be all light here. So, get some light. Paint is drying pretty fast here. Some more mixture here. Okay. okay. Wipe that off. Now I'm going to get some of my darker. Actually, just uh, that's the way it should be, I guess. Just kind of push some of that dark into that, just to 
give it a little bit. I hope you can see this because I know my hand is in the way. But uh, I just want to get that roundness going from here. But that's his trunk. And uh, let's see here if we can get this to get some light here. Okay. I still want some of that light right in through here. So we won't put a lot in just to kind of give it that look. All right. Now let's work on this part here. It's kind of light and it does go up to the eye. So Coming down this way over the tooth it's kind of ripply over the tooth or the trunk or the tusks I should say now let me get some dark in there right in through here it's dark and right in through here right before it hits the tusk. It's a little dark. I may need another kind of brush for that. So I'm getting my little teeny flat one. It's got to roll up. Some real dark. I'm gonna get some more of my paints gray out. He's starting to look really great. Yeah, I like it. Oops, once this, um, this has to come over here like that. Because his little mouth is going, I mean his tusk, I mean his uh, trunk is going way up there. Let's see here. Right here, we've got this to go up because this is real light here. This is his little area for the eye and I want that light right there. Then right directly underneath that, let me wipe off my brush, right here, very dark, very, very dark. Underneath gets a little bit of light. Something light. Which kind of goes this way. Like that. And then we have some light around his eye. So let's get some of that light that's around it. And then we want to get this dark, 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 dark right in through here. Eye isn't really all that big. I'm going to 
probably need to get more dark in there. Right now, we'll just get this here. Now this video is going to be a little longer because I'm just going to get this done. Uh, and I apologize because I know people get bored and they don't watch the whole thing. But um, just if you can, give me a like and a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And we like that when you can give me a thumbs up. to get a little darker I'm just um, let me rinse out my brush too much white on there but I think this little bugger is coming along what do you think comments would help I've always liked elephants always this might be too oh, too wet for now um, I don't know uh, it just always, they always amazed me. I used to watch them, well, of course, you know, in the day when circuses were the big deal. And you went to the circus. My favorite part of the circus was the elephants. Now I feel bad because how they've been, were treated and things like that. It's just sad. Just sad. I hate to see torture. I hate to see things being tortured and I don't know. God didn't create all these things for us to just torture them. God created them because of their beauty and Majesticness. Okay, getting there. Just got to work at it. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. here so we want that to pop out so once I paint this then I just kind of go over it with the glaze and I'm not putting in all the little lines right now we can put in a few but uh, just kind of You can show a lot by the way you um, use your brush. You can see that I'm going down with that. And this here is a very important uh, wrinkle. Um, gonna kind of like push that in a little bit because that's a very important one and um, kind of goes over that way so 
definitely want to have some light in through here, kind of like blend it in. I kind of got rid of some of that, so we're going to have to put it back. Wipe my brush. Just kind of tapping it in almost. Tapping it in. Just feathering it in. Oops, I lost that. Ooh, too much white. He's looking good, he's looking good, he's looking good. This here, this is a shadow week thing, so I don't want that to be too, um, let me just get a little bit of water onto my, it's more like a shadow than anything. Just going to kind of glaze over it. This coming kind of light, but I don't want it bright white. So we're going to glaze over that also. It's okay if it's white right now. It's all right. Because this gets glazed over. Once it's glazed over, kind of just uh, fades into the thing. It fades. Okay. There we go. Very light in through here also, so I'm going to kind of just glaze through that too. my little there we go Okay. 
lose too much of my shadows. to make sure I get that lightness here. And I'm just using a gray. And rinse that out. And I want to get that dark this to be kind of pulled down. I can get that pulled down. Okay, and then this real dark goes in there. If I can get that in there, right here, right there. Okay, that has to be a line. But I'm gonna, well, no, I just uh, I gotta get more of my Payne's gray out. <clears throat> so, he's starting to shape up. I'm really um, happy with it so far. He's looking good. It takes a while to get things the way you want them, you know. Uh, this stuff isn't easy, that's for sure. This one's a little bit of a harder painting. So, um, if you feel that you can do it, by all means, do. I want to see it. I bet some of you are even better than I am. And this kind of like comes around like that. Or it comes down this way. Eyes are hard. I mean, that's the most important part in any of these things, so you want to make sure you get it right. Now his eye is very tiny. Very, very tiny. It kind of rounds here. So I'm playing with this until I get it right. Um, It is taking a little bit more time, but we want to make sure we get it to the way we want it. those little lines that are supposed to be in this part here. Okay. Alright. Now the only thing we have to do is like do some touch up work. Uh, we're going to do the tusks. I think we're pretty much finished. You know? It's um, pretty close. You know, it's my own artistic uh, ex and uh, expressioning, expressionizing how I feel about this. And I think we're doing pretty good. 
Okay, I see some other things here that I could probably work on uh, as far as his top of the tusks are. I'm just going to grab a little bit of my kind of dry brush uh, with my paints gray and just kind of put in some lines just like I did here. Just slightly going. Seems the lines go in different directions. It's almost like um, cross hatching there. Just get some little lines in through here. You can even put some of these little lines in through here. I mean, it just uh, just to kind of give it a little bit more. realism because you know that he is full of these lines that's what makes them so unique did you know that like whenever one of their babies is killed that they cry they actually mourn I was so surprised by that they do have feelings Same with babies, you know. I guess when their moms are killed, you know, it's the same thing. Same exact thing for them. It's awful. Very sad. Very, very sad. in here. And just get a little lighter. That um, red oxide is coming through, and it makes it just look so uh, realistic. I'm really loving this. I think it looks really good so far. Um, yeah, I think this is doing so good. So we'll just keep continuing until we get this done. Uh, and I hope you'll stick with me. Um, as far as this goes, I think we're just almost done. I think we'll call this the end of uh, day four. And then day five, we'll just add the finishing touches. Um, getting the elephant more, um, some of this area here. And uh, just kind of getting him to pop out. So I think he's looking really good though. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me a comment. And... We'll see you for day five.